You also see a lack of transparency in the DSA, that is the debt sustainability analysis done by the IMF. And this sentiment is echoed in the assurances provided by the bondholders, where they have also expressed concerns over the IMF path and the path that we and the IMF has desi designed together. And it's very hard to critique when you don't know what the assumptions are and when the DSA is not made public. So in addition to the prior actions not being made public and you are, and as far as we are aware, everything that has been known is being done, the prior actions. But it's not clear as to what are those 15 points are and what exactly the IMF wants. Um, and what that allows is for the government to conduct anti-democratic practices using the IMF as a shield. For example, with the electricity uh, pricing, where the government uh, kept saying that they had to do this for the IMF program, we are going to bypass the PUCSL and, and go ahead with it. It's very strange that the IMF would require Sri Lanka to go be, like break the law and approve electricity pricing when the PUCSL has not clearly given its uh, approval. But due to the lack of transparency, we are also not, we are uncertain about... But then, Prabhu, when you say the PUCSL has not given their approval, I think they did give their approval. They the did. The chairman give, objected. It, objected, exactly. So they, you don't have a unanimous um, approval from... There's no requirement for unanimous. Exactly. <laughs> but, what, but, but the concern is basically that you can use, even with the, for example, when you don't know what the prior actions are, uh, you will have to rely on the government's concern, even on local government elections, those... You see, the, you see how the government uses the IMF as a shield. But mm. what, you need to, what we need to see is the greater transparency, either from the government or IMF or together. And in addition to that, what we see is that it's not just, the, it's not just in Sri Lanka, but even our bilateral partners and bondholders have echoed the same concern on the lack of transparency. But, but